Let's talk about TikTok. I recently have been absolutely obsessed with TikTok. With 800 million active users worldwide, this app has quickly become one of the most popular social media apps to have on your phone in 2020. There is every type of account on there, from dancers and photographers to therapists and plastic surgeons. So it is very entertaining to say the least. What I have come across in the photography space on TikTok is these really cool photo trends. So I want to test some of those out today and see if they work so that you guys can recreate really cool photos that home. So definitely make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't done so already and you can see some of these photos on Instagram as well and let's get started. Okay so for this first photo I want to do the mirror outside challenge and these photos look actually so friggin cool. Okay we got the mirror. Step one I tried to look for a smaller mirror. There is no smaller mirror this is my only option. We're in a long dress so it's not a good idea. And I took my giant mirror I have brought it outside and the key with this is you kind of need to like angle it a certain way Otherwise, it just looks weird. You also need to make sure that the lighting is good outside and it's either really bright and sunny and not overcast. So we've decided to take it to a different angle. We have this really pretty tree right here. And so we had two cameras outside. I had my DSLR, the 1DX, and then also my sister's cell phone that we used. And to be honest, the photos actually turned out pretty good. I took some really cool ones of Lisa, but the key is to use the portrait mode on your phone. So it's a bit more zoomed in, but I honestly think this is such a cool photography hack. So I highly recommend that you guys take a mirror outside, try it yourself. Okay, so moving on to this next photography hack. So I have seen this one um, quite a few times and it allows you to get these really dreamy photos. So what you're supposed to do is take a piece of glass. So I have this table right here that has a huge glass thing. So we're gonna use that. I've seen some people recommend using just like the glass in your fridge. Um, okay, I think this will actually look pretty cool. All right, so this is the current setup we have. And then this underneath, so I'm gonna spray the top and then I'm gonna lay down here and we're gonna try and see if we can get that dreamy effect. I'm gonna try both the cell phone and my camera. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, maybe, okay, we need to, I think we need to try something out. So obviously the first attempt was not like working out as well as I had planned. I feel like if we're in the sun, yeah, what have I people done it? I think the sun. Like okay, we're gonna move to the sun and see if that works. Guys, these photos are actually kind of cool. So obviously this photography hack turned out a lot better once I actually brought it to the sun and I got some flowers involved and just kind of played around a little bit. And I was pretty impressed with how it turned out. Like it looks super cool and kind of like artsy. It definitely encouraged me to try more photo shoots at home and not be confined by just like my personal space because literally this has shown me that you can take photos anywhere, get super creative and make your Instagram work regardless of where you are. All right, so these next photography hacks, I was honestly not sure whether or not they would even work. The first one I saw was one where you took an empty roll of toilet paper and then some tape, and then you taped it to your camera's light on your phone and it created a really cool spotlight effect. And turns out this actually worked so well. I was so incredibly impressed with this. As you can see, it is working quite well. Lisa's added her own little pizzazz with the snake and the um, umbrella here. My sister also has this thing that she bought from a hardware store, which is this light that makes these really cool like rainbow speckles all over your room. So once we used that plus my little fake spotlight, it created the coolest look ever. And when I edited these, it made it like come alive. And I was just like obsessed. I'm like, this is so fun. So that hack definitely works. And you can also do it on just a plain wall as well. Keep it really simple. Do it more like Vogue. Just have like a nice portrait. So try it out. Tag me if you do, I would love to see your recreations. So from here, the photography hacks kind of went downhill a little bit. So <laughs> this one I saw was like a really nice glass where it had a whole bunch of reflection things in it. You can kind of <laughs> see if you point it at the roof that it's like a really cool thing like this. This photo's not doing too much for me. I feel like there's just not enough like directed light. You probably need a different type of glass if you got one that was very reflective. This one's literally from Ikea, so you know, you get what you pay for. And it created kind of a cool look, but not enough for you to really be able to see. And then the last thing we tried, which 
I'm just gonna <laughs> show you guys how that went. <laughs> so the last hack we're gonna try is with tissue paper. I actually only had yellow in my house. Um, you're supposed to use two different colors, but yeah, we're not gonna go to the store, so. <laughs> Okay, this is like the scariest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> so yeah, that one um, was kind of my fault that it failed because I used the only tissue paper I had, which was yellow tissue paper. And my, I mean, my sister liked the photo. She thought it was kind of cool. Um, and I think too, you could edit it in post to make it a different color. So you could do it all purple or something. But overall, I was pretty impressed with these TikTok photography hacks. And I definitely want to try out more in the future. So let me know if you guys want to see a part two to this video. And then definitely leave a comment down below letting me know any review style videos that you guys want to see on my different cameras and lenses. I'm going to start filming those this week and review a bunch of stuff for you guys tech style because obviously we've got a little bit more time at home than normal. But I hope you guys are doing good and hanging in there. We will all get through this time together and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.